Happy Friday, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Business Daily. But first, let's get a quick check on what you can expect from us in the latter half of our program. Time is money when it comes to delivery men here in Korea racing to get goods to homes as quickly as possible with some even looking to go beyond same-day delivery. Ranging from TV channels for pets to GPS trackers to locate your furry friends wherever they might be, service providers are getting creative to cater to beloved pets and their owners. But first, let's take a look at the day's top business stories. Korea's foreign exchange reserves have posted another record high for the third consecutive month. The Bank of Korea says the country's forex reserves stood at 374 billion U.S. dollars as of the end of June, up about 3 billion dollars a month. The central bank also says that the surge is due to the appreciated value of other currencies, with the euro gaining 2.2 percent against the greenback and the pound up by 2.7 percent. It also added that the increased profit from asset management contributed to the hike. The size of Korea's foreign exchange reserve ranked sixth in the world in May, with China topping the list, followed by Japan. The government will provide some $267 million in additional financial support to help prop up Korea's tourism sector, crippled by MERS fears. Finance Minister Choi kyung hwan said the money will be used in various cultural events to attract more overseas tourists and step up advertising to lure in foreign shoppers. He also said that the government would enact a buy one, get one free policy for performance tickets and develop more Hallyu goods to target the Chinese market. Meanwhile, the International Monetary Fund says Greece's current debt dynamics are quote-unquote unsustainable and that the country needs to get serious about reforms if it hopes to get out of its huge financial hole. The IMF said that the Greece needs up to 50 to 60 billion euros or 55 to 66 billion U.S. dollars of extra funds over the next three years and large-scale debt relief to stabilize its economy. It added that Greece needs a 20-year grace period before it restarts any debt payments and final payments should not take place until 2055. Corporate sales in the first quarter slid in Korea, with the country's largest companies seeing performance drop by the largest margin in over a decade. Now, this comes on the back of sagging domestic consumption and lackluster exports. Our Won ji tells us more. On Thursday, the Bank of Korea released its report on corporate financial performances for the first quarter of 2015. Based on the analysis of more than 3,000 Korean companies, the report showed that the overall corporate sales had fallen by 4.7 percent compared to the same period last year. And when it comes to the company's size, big conglomerates suffer the most with their sales decreasing by 5.5 percent on year. That's the largest reported drop since 2003 when the SARS outbreak took a major blow at the Korean economy. On the other hand, sales at small to mid-sized companies fell slightly by just 0.6 percent. An official from Korea's central bank cited cheaper crude oil and falling prices of exports as the main reasons for the sales drop, which also explains why Korea's petrochemical industry took the biggest hit by losing more than 20 percent of its sales in the first quarter of the year. The official added that the weak Japanese yen and sliding global demands have also made it harder for Korean companies to sell their cars and smartphones. Despite their sales loss, Korean companies still managed to become a bit more profitable this year, as the reports show that their operating margins were up by 0.4 percentage points thanks to lower prices of raw materials. Won ji Business Daily. We call them men's best friend, and that's exactly what they are in most households here in Korea. And with the number of dog owners on a sharp rise, more people are finding innovative ways to pamper their pets. Our Lee ji has the story. When it's time for TV, a particular show gets this dog hooked. That's because it's watching Dog TV, a show dedicated to furry friends nationwide. And when its owner turns on music of a certain frequency wave that dogs love, it soon falls asleep. 
Because we live in an apartment, we're very sensitive to barking since we don't want to disturb our neighbors. But I think this show and music for dogs has helped a lot. Experts say around 30,000 households now subscribe to paid pet channels, and more novel services are popping up, with the number of dog owners zipping past 10 million. As more people live alone, they come to consider dogs as family, so demand is increasing for channels and content that cater specifically to them. It's not only that, but there are also remote GPS trackers that connect to smartphones that allow owners to follow the location and activity levels of their pets. I always walk my dog on a leash in fear that I would lose it. But with this tracking device, I'm less worried. With roughly one in five Koreans owning dogs now, people are continually out on the look for fun, creative services that will make their favorite four-legged family members happy. This also means more business for service providers catering to their furry friends. Lee Ju Young, Business Daily. Now, Korea has long been famous for its around-the-clock career services. You can get everything from McDonald's to jajangmyeon and a king crab to your doorstep via your smartphone. And to tell us more about the footprint that super fast delivery is making on retailers, we're now joined by our Eunice Kim in the studio. Hello there, Eunice. Good morning, Jiyun. This is video uh, of a special event that was held by an online retailer, G Market, here in Korea mm -hmm. to recognize the couriers, the Tekbe Ajushis, who worked rapidly from mm -hmm. early morning to late at night to get us those packages at home. You know, I think it's really nice that someone actually thought about this kind of an event because most of the times I think we take these careers for granted because they're here right. and they're gone in a right. minute with our items. We so. do, and it's a feel-good message that I think also shows the importance that delivery has these days. The popularity of e-commerce, there is rock bottom prices are no longer enough to win over customers and the difference is being made on how quickly those goods can be delivered. A staff member of a mega supermarket races through the store to collect her customer's online order. Home Plus extended its same-day delivery deadline from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. in April. And since then, it has seen sales jump by 10 percent, with watermelons delivered in a cooled state, receiving notable high demand. It's both the quality and the time it takes for delivery that's important to our customers. At the forefront of the delivery race is social commerce company Coupang. It made waves when it created its own legion of couriers, dubbed the Coupang Man, who delivers customers' products at, quote, rocket speed. The bet to differentiate itself won supporters and investors, too, as the e-commerce leader secured investment worth 1.4 billion U.S. dollars within a span of a year. We plan on offering many more options so our customers don't have to go to the market. Number one home shopping brand CJO Shopping has also grown its delivery budget by more than 40 percent to expand same-day delivery beyond the capital region to the rest of the country. The investment into delivery is tremendous. Delivery inevitably impacts the bottom line, and if companies don't keep up, they'll be left behind in the fierce competition. So Eunice, this is not just about keeping up with the Joneses with this kind of investment right. rolling in. And mm. I guess there's a real real value being met there in the career service. Absolutely. Despite the difficult economic times elsewhere, this is an area that is seeing consistent growth, ji uh, uh, If you, in Korea, of course, you can't get your products fast mm. enough. And of course, there's also a growing number of people buying things internationally mm. uh, directly through the brands abroad. So let's go ahead and take a look at those figures. This is data from the Korea Integrated Logistics Association. And with the number of package deliveries growing by roughly 100 million every year, revenue is on the up and up. As you see there, it rose by 6.4% last year. Wow. This means
means that each economically active person in Korea used Tekpe service nearly 62 times in 2014. And of course, that figure is only set to grow. All right. And social commerce companies like Coupang are jumping right into mm. this. I mean, they've created their own in-house delivery infrastructure at a cost, though. Why right. is that? Yeah, and that's a great question because Coupang did put on its record a $110 million operating loss last year, wow. which it said was the cost of building that infrastructure, that in-house delivery infrastructure. But it did say it would be worth it as it strives to build an e-commerce model compared to that of Amazon as well as China's Alibaba. Now, the so-called Coupang man is catching on. He's known for his on-time and more detail-oriented service. So a lot of ladies out there especially are expressing <laughs> their joy. Coupled with the promised growth of e-commerce, uh, it was a good enough reason to convince Japan's telecom company SoftBank to pledge an on a $1 billion investment in Coupang, which is expected to close sometime this month. Wow, you know, it never ceases to amaze me with how fast all these items are delivered to us. Right, you think we let we arrived at that threshold, yes. but no, faster no, still. Faster and faster. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for coming in today, Eunice. You bet. That'll do it for me for now. Hope we were able to walk you through the week with business news that mattered to you. We'll be back next week, so don't forget to tune in then. Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend, everyone.